What's up everybody? Today I got a call about a snowmobile trailer that's off the trail in Sycamus. So I'm loading up the Jeep and tomorrow morning we're heading out to get it. So tonight my dad is just helping me uh, get the truck loaded up. Uh, I'm taking my Jeep and the reason I'm not driving it is because Sycamus is a two hour drive away. And I've got a rear U-joint and pinion bearing that's not so happy. So gonna load it on the uh, 550, drive that out there, unload, and uh, I'll only have to drive it a few kilometers. Got the new Rubicon case in there, so she's nice and slow. Well, she is all loaded up and strapped down, so We'll see you in the morning. Tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's the next morning and uh, just showing up to the shop and I'll think about anything else we need, throw it in and then we'll hit the road. Okay, just getting the last few straps loaded in, grabbing some extra chains and whatnot because we're a couple hours away and can't just pop back to the shop. Uh, Tom's joining me today, so we're gonna uh, hop in the truck and hit the road as soon as he gets here. All right, it's like 7 a.m. Tom's just rolling up to the shop, so we're gonna wake him up a little bit as he walks in the door. Get things started. <laughs> gonna meet the tow truck there and the customer, figure out a plan and then we'll unload and head up. Okay, so we're in the staging area. Denny's joining us, he's got his Jeep here. We're unstrapping, unloading, and then uh, it's a couple kilometers up the Forest Service Road. Tow truck is here, so uh, we'll just be assisting with them. Um, yeah, the trailer is kind of against a tree over a bank, so uh, the more winches, the better for this one. All right, hop in and head up. So we're just heading up the road to check it out. Uh, while the tow truck chains up the front. We'll see if it's necessary to chain uh, all four up, but I don't think so. So far it's gravel, but apparently it turns pretty icy and that's obviously why the truck and trailer went off, or just the trailer, I guess. They got the truck down, so it's a 27 foot total um, snowmobile hauler trailer enclosed and it's over the edge. So just going to see, hopefully we've got some trees to anchor to and uh, we'll kind of give word to the tow truck how icy the road is. We're almost at the trailer here and it does turn to ice, but I think it'll be good with just uh, front chains. Yeah, that's, uh, that is over there. So I would say he was probably going up the road when it was even icier and started to slide back and lost it. Okay, well, we'll go down and report our findings. At least there's lots of anchor trees up there. So the customer's in front. He's gonna go up above so we can hook on the trailer after we get it out. Tow truck's going first, then us. And there's a guy behind that's gonna block the road. So the tow truck's just chained up on the front because that's good enough and it's a pain putting triples on the back. But if we need to, we can add them. He's also got the spade on the boom there to dig into the ice for when he's winching. So that helps a bunch. All right, everyone made it back easy peasy. Oh man, there's a rock right behind. So it was full of sleds uh, when they went over and they unloaded 
on that angle, so that would have been a feat. Arguably one of the most important steps to any recovery is making a proper plan. Especially in a situation like this where there is minimal damage and the possibility of creating a lot of damage. Here we're taking 10 minutes or so to come up with the best course of action and a plan that will hopefully work the first time. I'll just include this small portion of the planning. If you are this way, yeah. back to him, yeah. um, probably have to vary how far, but you do one, two, probably behind the rear tires. His, his tires. Yeah. You snatch block your other, to that tree in front of the tires. So you've got the whole side of the trailer. Yeah. And then I do front snatch block to a tree there, pulling straight that way. Yeah. I think it's light enough that you'll just, like, especially if you put a bit of lift on these, this side. Yeah. At first, it'll, it'll pull it away from those trees and then you can just adjust, like, flat yeah. pull. And then you, you'll probably, like, as it starts to come away from the trees, you can drop your boom to pull it into the bank rather than flip it. And then you'll have fairly, like, quite a bit of yeah. forward pull also. And then I would do just direct forward pull. I think um, we're looking at about 6,000 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Which is... I was thinking also if you, like, were to give you more room... Well, and I can also adjust. Because, like, you, you, once we're off the tree, you would still be holding it up if I have to yeah. readjust. And then that way, you're using your, well, gravity pointing you downhill. I was thinking I would snatch block to one of those so I could anchor to one of those. Yeah. So that I'm actually not in the way. Like, because if I'm parked there, we can only pull 10 feet into me before yeah, yeah. we run out. If I'm up there, snatch block, then I can pull all the way to... Like once it's up on the road, you can just yank and just skid it around yeah. and then we're straight shot that way. So Dave's going to be below and pull two inches off the side. I'm going to pull directly forward uh, off of the tree up there and anchor back here across the road. And hopefully it comes. Perfect. All right, Dave's in position down there. Yeah. He's uh, putting one line off his boom to the side directly. Another is going to be snatch block up the hill to the trailer, kind of pulling it up the hill. I am hooked up the bank. Snatch block back to the tongue to pull it basically straight. And uh, together we'll hopefully pull it away from the tree and up onto the road. Okay, hold there.
I'm gonna re-rig it, Dave, okay. so it doesn't pull the hitch into the ditch again. Okay, yeah. Uh, you got her there? I got it, yeah. <laughs> so then, Tom, I'll back up and we'll just go straight, straight to it. Yeah. I mean, that go went about as good as you could ask for. It went to plan, which isn't always uh, how it goes. So we're gonna move to like that other tree way at the back. Uh, nope. No, he's re just straight to so it. it so that can all come off. Okay. So we're done with the snatch block. Yeah. Yeah, you can just chuck it down into here. And backing his truck down now he's all chained up so he's gonna have to pull it up the road to be able to turn around and go back down so the tow truck's still hooked on because we don't want it sliding hopefully he's able to get it on and then drag it up he pulled up the hill no problem so uh, successful job heading down Well, that went as planned, which uh, it should, but it doesn't always. So loading the Jeep back up on the truck. Jenny's throwing some air in. Everyone's taking their chains off and we'll head home. Jeep is back on. Um, they are pretty much done getting their chains off. And it's time to head home. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to check out other videos like this, including one somewhere over here. Subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer. The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger. Hey yo, the mirror don't lie.